Right, so it's got a bit of silver paper insulation on it, this, or something on it. So I don't want silver paper going into the uh, distilled water. That would totally defeat the object. But this, this bit looks clean. So if I can heat this bit, this end up and get it to fit over there, be able to do that. So now we've just got a boil of water, steam should come out of here, go into there, condense, and we should get distilled water, or re reasonable distilled water anyway, I'm, I'm, I don't think it'll be perfectly distilled water. I might have to do it twice. Take the distilled water and then reboil it and redistill it. In fact, what I should do is leave that out of there first, uh, in case there's any uh, volatile elements dissolved in the water. You know, like uh, petrol or oil or something like that, and that'll hopefully come off first. Get rid of that. Uh, then we'll distill the water. Right, so I better get on to back to wood chopping detail. The dog's on choking detail, yes? Come here. What are you doing? Hey? Come here. Dog. She should be thirsty by now. You can see all the uh, all the salt from where the water's boiled out. Not salting that uh, seawater. That's my dinner in there. Can't remember what it is I'm having now. Moroccan style bean stew. <laughs> so that's that one there. Well, I'll rethink that one. The principle's there. Got to keep at it. Right, so out in the field then was a failure. Will you get down? Get down. <clears throat> and the reason it was a failure was because this lid on the zebra billy can is far too slack. Um, there is a reason for that, there's another pan that fits inside um, along the top and this actually fits in top of that second pan I think. Uh, so that's the reason it's slack like this. So all the steam was just coming out of the sides and didn't want to flow down this very narrow tube. 
So we got no steam to condense. So I came up with plan B and plan B was to use this thicker tube on a um, jam jar type bottle. Screw that on, that's gas tight, there's nowhere else for the steam to go other than down this tube. Well once I'd actually glued it on, I haven't glued it on yet. Because before I glued it on I had another thought and that was to put a gasket of some sort on the inside of the Zebra Billy can. And the rough and ready way to do that I thought was just put a few elastic bands on it. And that's not as easy said done as said without twisting them. Right, is that one alright? So that's one elastic band around the rim. I'm just squashing it down. But unfortunately, one elastic band is still nowhere near. So we go for two elastic bands. So that's four elastic bands and I think with a bit of weight on there it's not jigging about like it was and with a bit of weight on I think we should get the steam at least the majority of the steam to come out of there a bit like a pressure cooker and I'm going to use the slightly thicker hosing as well. The disadvantage, well it's not really a disadvantage, I'm now using tap water and we know there's a lot of impurities in tap water because they're deliberately added to kill any germs, to, to put fluorine in for people's teeth and then to put stuff in to make the water look clear. I don't know how that works but there's a lot of stuff in tap water. So well, I'll boil the tap water first just to get any gases and chlorine and what have you out of it hopefully and then we'll start the um, distillation process and uh, hopefully we'll have a bit of success this time. Uh, I'll have, if I'm using this big bottle I'll have to get a bucket to put that in so I can keep it cool. Uh, otherwise I'll just have to use the plan B jar with a much smaller glass bottle inside it so I can keep putting cold water in and keeping the condensation part cold. So there's a lot <laughs> You don't know how things are going to work out until you actually try and do them. But it is important, I think, to be able to distill water because, as I've said in a previous video where I distilled absolutely toxic swamp water and turned it into drinkable water, it's all right taking your water purification tablets with you, but water purification tablets don't purify water. They just kill any living organisms. They don't take out any chemicals, whereas this method will, to a degree at least, take the chemicals out. So let's get on with it, get some distilled water and then we can, we should have enough then to manufacture in part three our colloidal silver, which is what it's all about at the end of the day. Right, so this is the just about working setup for distilled water. I've got it boiling in the Zebra Billy can here. And with the seal I've put on, it's making a reasonable seal. I've got some slightly bigger tubing, but it's plastic tubing and it gets hot. So it would be better with metal or copper tubing. 
So the steam comes down and it goes into this bottle here, which you can just see the top of. And then I've got that sat in a tub of cold water. And progress is really, really slow. It would be much better if I get a piece of copper tubing and cool the copper tubing down. But uh, that's what we're going with at the moment. And it's just coming in drip by drip. But actually, although you can see it just dripping from the piping, a lot of it is condensed onto the cool bottle. So it's perhaps not quite as bad as it looks, but it's still very slow progress. So at this rate, it's going to take me an awful lot of wood to make the distilled water I need. So the concept works and I'll work on it until we get enough distilled water and then I'll bring us to episode 3 which will be the final episode where we actually make the colloidal silver. But uh, it's going to take a bit more efficiency and quite a bit of time before I actually get enough distilled water to do that. The problem I was having with the Zebra Billy can out at South Gare was all due to the fact that um, this little tray fits in the top and then the, the top actually fits in this little tray so that's why I couldn't seal the edges until I put the elastic bands round. But anyway, that's it for this episode and uh, I'll probably be back with something else before I get enough distilled water to go on to the final colloidal silver episode. So I'll leave it there and I'll see you in a week or so. Thank you.